Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trinice McNeely. Um, I just tried to do a live earlier, but I had to stop because my son was screaming in the background, but I got him together. So I'm gonna start this over. I'm Dr. Trinice L. McNeely, and I'm going to read a couple of chapters to you from my book, Mommy's Goals Versus Reality, Managing Schoolwork and Family. Um, Mommy's Goals Versus Reality, Managing Schoolwork and Family is a must-read self-help book in which women are provided with successful strategies to manage their school, work, and family obligations as they aim to reach their goals in life. In this book, I describe the lessons learned from my doctoral journey, provide motivation and encouragement, and analyze the strategies working student mothers use during their academics, professional careers, and family lifestyles. I wrote Mommy's Goals versus Reality, Managing Schoolwork and Family to encourage other women not to give up on their educational or professional goals just because they are a mother or a wife. All mothers and wives can pursue any goal they aim to achieve if they are willing to work hard to succeed despite their family obligations. So this is my book, Mommy's Goals Versus Reality. And what I thought I would do is just read a couple of chapters out of this book, um, just to let you know some of the different strategies that can help you as mom in um, your mom life. So this book contains um, the introduction, chapter one, setting realistic goals, chapter two, managing expectations, chapter three, learning strategies, chapter four, determining your outcome, chapter five, analyzing your journey, and inspirational quotes are provided as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the introduction. Like I said, I'm going to read different chapters out this book because I'm um, doing this live today. I just wanted to offer you some of the different strategies that I found that has been helpful in my life um, during my doctoral program, working full time um, and being a mom, a wife, all of that. So all of those strategies have, has helped me throughout the years. And also I'm um, talking with other mothers who have been going through the same um, thing as me getting their strategies. I put it all together in this book. So I want to offer those strategies to you um, during this live. So I'm going to start with the introduction. Daily, people set goals for themselves that are great, small, easy, or challenging. Many people have established educational goals for themselves to graduate from high school, technical school, college, university, graduate school, law school, and medical school, or to obtain a doctorate degree. Some people have career goals, such as obtaining job promotions, improving on the job productivity, or implementing successful outcomes and deliverables. Numerous people have found goals such as improving their finances, implementing a healthier lifestyle, applying better communication practices with their spouse, or raising their children to become professional and productive working citizens in society. The goals you set for yourself will only be fulfilled by the steps taken to prevent obstacles from interfering with goal achievement. Some people will need to face the reality that their goals may be unachievable. All journeys begun are not necessarily ours to complete. Sometimes life forces us to identify other priorities that we must accept at least for a time. If you determine that your prioritized goals are your goals to achieve, then work very hard to successfully achieve them. However, if you fail to achieve your goals, reevaluate to determine what strategies you can use going forward to prevent future obstacles from hindering the successful achievement of your goals. In this book, Mommy's Goals versus Reality, Managing School, Work, and Family, women are provided with successful strategies to manage their everyday lives as they aim to reach their goals. There are five chapters within this book, and the chapters are summarized as follow. Chapter one, setting realistic goals. When I grow up, I want to be. Career and educational goals. Chapter two, 
Managing expectations. What are your expectations? What do you expect from your goals? Chapter three, learning strategies. Research, design, and findings. Strategies used to manage obligations. Chapter four, determining your outcomes. Working student mothers shared their success stories. Working student mothers describe their positive and negative outcomes. In chapter five, analyzing your journey, things to avoid when setting your goals and key tips for reaching your goals. So we're gonna begin with chapter one, setting realistic goals. When I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer and launch a woman clothing company called Lachey's Designs. When I grow up, I want to be. This phrase is stated by little boys and girls daily. Growing up, my goals were to graduate from college with a fashion degree, obtain a master's of business administration degree, to learn how to run my old clothing company, move to Atlanta, Georgia to test out life in the big city, move to New York City to work for my idol fashion designer, Kamora Lee Simmons, and open up my own clothing company. These were the educational and career goals I had set for myself and I aim not to let anything stand in the way of achieving my goals. At age 10, I started drawing pictures of various women outfits I wanted to design when I grew up. I got my inspiration from women on different television shows, music videos, and friends within my community. I kept all my drawings in a binder and drip of one day becoming a world fashion designer. I used to go into my parents' sewing drawer in which the needles and threads were kept to sew on buttons and hems, dresses, skirts, and pants for me and my family. I would cut up fabric and hand sew various pieces into outfits, pillows, and quilts. In high school, I took my first sewing class and I loved it. My mom bought me my first sewing machine and I was 16 years old and I would sew all day long. Fashion was my passion, and I wanted to have the education to pursue my career as a fashion designer. After high school, I wanted to attend Georgia Southern University and major in fashion merchandising and apparel designs with an emphasis in apparel design. However, my dad thought I should become a news reporter because once the local newscast would end each evening, I would repeat back the news to everyone. Therefore, during my sophomore year in college, I decided to take my dad's advice and pursue a minor in journalism. Unfortunately, this was not a sound path for me. Lesson learned. Remember, people will sometimes try to influence your personal or professional decisions without understanding your core values and motivations. However, you need to determine your own choices. The career goal I had established for my journalism minor was to research fashion trends throughout the world, then create fashion reports with fashion magazines, books, websites, and blogs to keep readers informed as I operated my clothing company. Unfortunately, that mindset of thinking did not last long. After passing my journalism course with a grade of an A, I decided a career in journalism was just not for me. Instead, I changed my mind into management so that I could successfully manage my clothing company. Lesson learned. Throughout your lifetime, there may be family members or friends who may want you to pursue certain goals for yourself because they only want the best for you. However, you can decide on what goals you would like to accomplish for yourself in life. During college, my goal was to graduate in three and a half years instead of four years. To reach this goal, each semester I will take 18 to 19 credit hours. Because the maximum number of hours was 21 credits each semester, my academic advisor would suggest I lighten my course load, but I would not reduce my course load. Lesson learned. In life, people may not know your capabilities and your commitment to success and may suggest for you to take the easier route. However, you cannot let the doubts and limitations of others diminish your potential. You know your own potential, and you must keep challenging yourself to reach your goals. I work hard each semester to complete my courses and to maintain my HOPE scholarship while participating in extracurricular activities on campus. I did finish all my coursework in three and a half years. However, as a requirement of my degree, I had to complete my Disney College program internship, which took me the full four years of college. 
In May of 20, 2006, I graduated from Georgia Southern University with a Bachelor of Science degree in fashion merchandising and apparel designs with a minor in management. Although I did not meet my targeted timeline of three and a half years, I was happy with the overall outcome. Lesson learned. There may be times in your life in which you will not reach a targeted deadline. If you fail to reach a deadline, reprioritize your timeline and keep working to accomplish whatever goal you have to set. After graduation, I continued to pursue my next educational goal of obtaining my MBA degree in business administration. I was accepted into graduate school and graduated from the University of Phoenix within a year and a half instead of the projected two years because I received credit from my prior management courses. After finishing my MBA program, I began focusing my career goal of launching my women clothing company, Lachey's Designs. I created a company logo, completed the business license, trademark and copyrights, designed and sold numerous outfits, participated in fashion shows, conducted photo shoots, and established a website to sell my clothing. To pay my bills, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia and accepted a full-time position. I eventually married and began starting my family. After the successful accomplishment on my job, I was promoted. However, Lachey's Designs was not profiting and I finally faced reality that I had to take a break from my fashion company and focus on my current position. Fashion was no longer my priority. Instead, my career focus shifted to program management. Lesson learned. When reality confronts you regarding something you cherish and something you have put so much time and effort into grooming and developing, you may be overcome with grief because of your failure. But you should not let this defeat hold you back from pursuing your new goals. Lesson learned. Each of us needs to understand our own reality and set goals based on what we can individually fulfill. Goal choices should not be based on what someone else is doing. However, the success or failures of others can be a motivating factor for accomplishing a goal. Your personal and professional goals may be achieved by your determination and ambition to do all you can to achieve positive outcomes in your life. People will constantly identify new goals for themselves as their lives change. After working in my position for four years, my new goal was to go back to school to obtain a doctor, a business administration degree with a specialization in project management. I decided to pursue this new goal for my life so I could have the educational expertise to support my professional experience. My doctoral program was a long, difficult four-year process for me and my family. The road to reach my doctoral goal was very challenging because I had a full-time career to perform my best for. I had to fulfill my wifely duties, take care of my children, manage my household, then finally sit in front of the computer late at night to complete my coursework. There were many nights in which I would only get two to three hours of sleep before waking up the next morning to do it all over again. I had to develop time management skills for my life to properly manage my schoolwork and family obligations and to achieve my goals. Although my doctoral journey was tough, I knew I would be able to achieve my goal because I never gave up. Because I based my academic goals on my prior experiences, my goals were achievable. Lesson learned. Do not set your goals so high that they are unachievable. Set realistic goals you can achieve. Chapter two, managing expectations. What are your expectations? What do you expect to gain from achieving your goals? What should you expect to do to achieve your goals? Is the entire process worth the challenges you will endure? What are the expectations of the university and degree program? What are your expectations from others while you are aiming to achieve your goals? What are your expectations from others once your goals are accomplished? These are just some of the questions you should ask yourself when managing the expectations of your goals. The expectations you set for yourself may not compare to the expectations people will have for you. Your supervisor expects you to get your job done accurately and in the allotted time frame you are expected to work. But what do you expect your supervisor to do so you can fulfill your job requirements? Do you expect your supervisor to answer all your questions and concerns? 
Do you expect to have proper on the job training and development? Do you expect your coworkers to perform as a team when collaborative efforts are required? Do you expect a bonus for a superior job evaluation? Do you expect a raise after so many years of job service? Lesson learned. When setting expectations on your job, you should first consult your supervisor and team members to understand what they expect from you. Then provide them with the expectations for your career. You do not want to go through your career expecting more from your company, but end up defeated because your expectations were not met. Your family members expect for you to be there for them regardless, but what do you expect back in return? Do you expect your spouse to support your educational and work obligations? Do you expect your children to not stress mommy out so you can help them with their everyday needs? Do you expect your family, including your parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, and cousins to understand that you may not be able to attend every family event since your education is now consuming your time? Lesson learned. When setting goals for yourself, you must not only determine the expectations you will have for your life, but also the expectations others who are traveling with you on your road to success will have for you. People who seek to advance their careers may have the expectations to succeed in their academics. If students did not want to succeed in their academics, they would not have decided to continue their education. However, some students will fail to reach their higher education goals of graduating from technical school, college, and university, graduate school, law school, medical school, or attaining a doctorate degree. They, there may be occurrences that will hinder students' abilities to finish their desired education. Life can be challenging, and many people will not stay on the path they choose. Some people may try to control what occurs in their lives, but there may be occurrences that are out of one's control. Therefore, plan to expect problems and challenges to arise when working to achieve your goals and have a plan to overcome the barriers to support your success. During my doctoral program, my goal was to complete my coursework in two years and finish my dissertation in one year. I expected to adhere to my coursework submission deadlines and maintain an A average throughout my program. I established a nightly routine that I expected to follow. I expected to limit my free time and dedicate my weekends to my doctoral program. I expected my employer to understand that I would no longer take work home because I now had coursework to complete after work hours. I expected my family members to understand that my time was limited for extra activities. I expected my husband to make some sacrifices so that I could obtain my doctorate to better our family financially. Because my husband worked weekends, not only were my weekends dedicated to completing my coursework and dissertation, my weekends were also dedicated to our children and household. Once my doctoral program was complete, I expected to receive numerous job offers with six-figure salaries, then begin my new pro project and program management career. There were These were my expectations, and I was ready to defeat all the challenges that could hinder the completion of my doctoral program. Throughout my doctoral program, there were various occurrences that were out of my control that delayed my progress. For instance, my husband and I had to deal with serious medical issues with members of our family, which resulted in us traveling more than expected. On other occasions, I had to travel at times for my job, which sometimes interfered with my coursework submission deadlines. Halfway through my program, my husband and I got pregnant and the pregnancy was difficult at times. Therefore, I had to take six months leave of absence from my doctoral program until our baby was born. I was blessed with supportive professors and a doctoral intern chair who were very understanding and offered me assignment submission extensions for my coursework. Although my motivation and ambition were challenges to maintain at times, I did not give up. Instead of finishing my program in three years, my entire doctoral process took me four years to complete. Regardless of the challenges that came my way, I had already set the ex expectation for my doctoral program. Therefore, I was not going to give into defeat. I worked extremely hard to satisfy the expectations of my doctoral program, and I also maintained a 4.0 GPA average throughout the entire process. Lesson learned. Set expectations you can accomplish. Expectations can be set at a high level of accomplishment or at a low level of accomplishment, depending on an individual's mindset 
and desire for achievement. Setting low expectations for yourself may help you take small steps towards a goal you are trying to reach. However, this strategy may not be challenging enough for you. In fact, setting low expectations could result and low achievement in a sign of weakness. On the other hand, setting high expectations for yourself is a great strategy to improve upon your performance. The higher the expectation you set to accomplish a goal, the greater you may perform to meet the expectations of reaching a goal, thus building upon your strengths. Lesson learned. When setting high expectations for yourself, always ensure your expectations are realistic. Unrealistic expectations can cause negative outcomes when people view themselves within an impossible situation. When you are trying to achieve a goal, do not set your expectations in becoming the superior person out of everyone who is trying to achieve the same goal. You should set realistic expectations to succeed with your goal, but do not set yourself up to overachieve something you may not be able to do. Having unrealistic expectations often results in disappointment and unhappiness. If you do not fulfill your unrealistic expectations, you may feel overwhelmed and defeated. Moreover, you may even decide not to continue working towards your goal. Lesson learned. Do not set yourself up for failure. One should aim to be great, but should not expect to be the greatest of all. So as we end chapter two, I just want you to take a moment to think about the expectations you have for yourself, for your family, your career, and your education. I want you to take out a sheet of paper. I want you to just really think and write down all of those expectations. Like I said, think about the expectations that we talked about, the expectations you have set for yourself for all of the goals that you want to achieve. The expectations your family have for you, the expectations you have for your family, um, the expectations that you have for your career, your coworkers, your boss. What are those expectations? And what do you expect back from them? Have you actually sat down and talked to your boss and talked to your coworkers about the goals that you're trying to achieve on your job? So you have to set those expectations. If you have not had that discussion, then you really need to just sit down, like I stated, and write down all of your expectations, really think about them and start having those conversations. So that's where I'm going to end um, my book, Mommy's Goals Versus Reality, Managing Schoolwork and Family. Um, for those of you, you can follow me at dr, um, dr.trenise McNeely. That's dr.trenesemcnealy on Facebook and also on Instagram. If you would like to purchase your copy of this book, you can purchase it on my website, um, dr.trenisemcnelly.com. And for the mothers out there who have a success story, I'm also working on my next book, A Mother's Struggle to Success. Um, if you have that that story where you struggled in the past to become that successful uh, mompreneur that you are today, if you would like to share that story anonymously with um, me for my upcoming book project, feel free to message me or you can um, send me an email at info um, at drtrenisemcnelly.com. So again, I hope you've enjoyed the first two chapters in this book. And as I mentioned, if you would like to get your copy, you can go to my website, drtrenisemcnelly.com to purchase your copy today. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this live. Bye-bye.